Yes, we are through immigration and now we just have to hope that our bikes and our gear survive the trip. Yeah. So let's see. It's always a bit nerve wracking because yeah, flying with bikes is, or taking a bus or any other form of transport for that matter, except for cycling is not great with bikes. No. So yeah, let's see. So we're slowly getting there, um, but it looks like everything survived well. Of course, we haven't checked all the gear yet, but the bikes look pretty good. The only problem is our host, which we uh, had here in Bogota tonight, cancelled on us, unfortunately. Um, so we're just looking where we can sleep tonight. So the funniest thing just happened. Um, as I mentioned, our host had to cancel last minute. And then as we were sitting up our bikes, oh, a couple came and just offered their house to us so we could sleep in there and we're gonna see if our bikes fit in their car because it's a bit further away. That's amazing. <laughs> what a start. No, mi amor, te tapa, te tapa. Dile no a uno, sea malo. Siéntate aquí, siéntate aquí. Siéntate, siéntate, siéntate. Siéntate, siéntate. Eso. Eso así. Uno, dos y tres. Chao, Toby. Chao, muchas gracias. Te están llamando. Mami, también tienen esto. Sí, para poder mirar. ¡Bravo! ¡Ay, adiós! Ya. Wow, what a start to a new country and to a new continent. It's just, they were just so kind to us. It's just incredible. This is it's it's really incredible. I feel the rush under my skin. Out of the blue, I'm breathing in. A lifetime is a long, long time, and I don't want to fall. over three weeks since we last um, yeah, cycled and we're now realizing how much we missed that. It's just such a different experience to cycle through a country than to uh, drive by car which we did in Costa Rica and it's oh, already so great and it's just the first day of cycling so yeah. We're very happy to be in the saddles again. So 
it's getting pretty late and we still haven't found a place to sleep. The sun's gonna set in like 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, we're on this old mountain road. Um, and it's a bit of a problem. There are some like farms or houses or I don't know, kind of resorts here. We don't really get what they are, but yeah, most of them, we asked at one or two if we can camp there and it might have been possible at one, but pretty expensive. And yeah, it's not ideal. But now we're kind of running out of options because wild camping is just impossible here. This, everything is fenced off and steep terrain and so on. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Take my oh, hand we Until we reach our last sunrise So we can sleep in this abandoned building and it's just as it's getting really dark and that's pretty great. Great, being chased by a bull on the loose <laughs> down a super slippery mountain. That's a great idea. So just to put this into perspective, what we're cycling now and have been for like the past 20 kilometers is a main road. This is marked uh, yellow on Google Maps, but in a few kilometers we will take a small road <laughs> marked white on, the, on Google Maps. So we're kind of worried that that's gonna be even worse. <laughs> oh man, let's see. So like two kilometers ago, we left the main road and went onto the little road, which we wanted to take for like 30 kilometers now. And yeah, this just, the road is gone. <laughs> oh, fuck. So after about 35 kilometers of just mud road and gravel and rocks <laughs> uh, we're finally on asphalt again these 35 kilometers took us about four, four hours, hours of riding time yeah like riding in total longer and now that we're back on asphalt we're gonna try to reach uh, our destination for tonight still um, which is a very nice um, house 
um, close to Hiradot, uh, which was offered to us by our hosts in Bogota yesterday um, because yeah, they own this house and it would be really nice to reach that today but it's um, after this detour we have to had to take it's uh, still about 55 kilometers now so yeah we have we have to see if we can do it So we are heading into the mountains now, um, up to around 3,000 meters, but we'll climb this for the next few days. And we're actually heading into the coffee region of um, Colombia. It's this valley or this triangle, the coffee triangle. And um, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to that. It should be pretty cool. And uh, maybe we'll find some nice small towns where we can have some good coffee. <laughs> So we are cycling on essentially a brand new road that's being built with tunnels as far as we know but also like huge bridges um, through the mountains through the now starting coffee region of Colombia and uh, it's so easy because as a bicycle as a cyclist or with a motorbike you can just go past all the toll stations no problem it's always free it's so great and the views are spectacular, really spectacular. So this traffic jam on this mountain road has just been going on for kilometers and nothing is moving. So we're wondering if it's like an accident or something like that. And with all these big trucks also then coming the other way, it's actually pretty dangerous because there's not a lot of room. <laughs> past the blockade which was a really small construction site uh, problem is now like three kilometers worth of trucks have to pass us <laughs> uh. day two of cycling through the Andes and into the coffee region. Um, tomorrow we want to be in Salento 
which is a small famous town uh, yeah, with coffee all around it. Unfortunately, it's still so busy with trucks. Um, we had hoped that it would be emptier today because it's Sunday, but no, it's just truck after truck. It's very annoying. So we're in the final stretch up to 3,200 and something meters which will be the highest point of our whole journey so far but the last 10 kilometers now have over 700 meters or 9 kilometers now have uh, over 700 meters of climbing which is crazy and we are so done Three hundred meters to go. It's right up there, and it's now eleven degrees. Ah, we did it. And now we cycle all the way down to 1,600 and it's going to be freezing. Yeah.